everybody and welcome back to another Ross Reviews where today we are in a BF XR8. The Boss 260 and this thing is supercharged. 413 rear wheel kilowatts, six speed manual. <laughs> yeah, this thing, this is sweet. Now you guys know how much I love these XR8 Falcons and I used to have a yellow BA XR8. It was a six speed manual as well. Unfortunately, mine wasn't supercharged, but man, you know, these things are renowned for being a little bit of a slug of a V8 because they just are so large. They really do take a lot to wake them up. But when you do wake them up, Man, this thing is wicked because, yeah, this particular one, again, it's got a 2.4 liter hair up supercharger up front. It's cammed, it's got a custom exhaust, and it's running 411 diff gears, all tuned to 413 rear wheel kilowatts. And, oh, 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 yeah, that is a healthy number in this thing. And it is a good thing the owner has um, upgraded them brakes because, yeah, you definitely need them in this thing. And wow. Oh, the wine comes through really nicely. And yeah, the brakes are really excellent. They stop you well. Oh, this is fantastic. And that V8 torque, you know, just pick a gear and it just moves no matter what. And look, you know, it is a big cam Boss 260 and it does, you gotta get used to the clutch a little bit because it is cammed, quad cam, and a man rolling through the gears here. Oh, and just, you know, this is a type of car you don't even really wanna max it out. Just, you get into that middle torque, you know, around that two to 4,000 RPM range you just hear the blower whine, you feel it in the seat, and oh, it is good. And when you just look at this particular one, you know, the Mad XR, yeah, this thing is pretty mad looking. I love the yellow, and you know, it's just running lowering springs. It's got 19 inch, yeah, Bud Simmons. It does look good on this car. And you just see this thing going down the road. It's got the shaker mod because it did used to have the shaker kit on here, but now it's got the supercharger on it. There's not much room under that front bonnet, but man, it still looks pretty sweet on this. Yeah, the looks of this car, it is nice. And just huge credit to the owner for keeping this particular one in such immaculate condition because it's even the paint just everywhere you look it's like brand new now price on one of these xr8s when they come out they were around that 45 grand mark from new and yeah you know these were kind of the top of the range ford performance cars everybody liked the xr8s and nowadays on the used market you, know, you used to be able to get these things for a real steal and now the prices have definitely started to creep up. You know, being a B-Series, you can still find a bargain if you really hunt for one. They kind of sit around that 25, 30 grand mark for, you know, just a normal one. If you want to get mods done like this particular car, it's going to cost you at least another 20 grand because, yeah, it isn't cheap to open these up. But again, once you do, yeah, these things... <laughs> they jump up real quick. Now you could have got these XR8s with a six-speed ZF automatic. That's not how you do it. You got to have this six-speed manual. It's just perfection. And, you know, this bigger one, just a stock box, feels really nice in the hands, like it's still tight shifting. 
V8's yeah, good, man. This is the only way you're gonna have a V8. You just gotta have it this way. Just rolling onto it here from second. <laughs> wow! Yeah, this is an animal, and you know, it really, really takes some big cojones to hold that pedal down because. Yeah, this is a big car, you know, these things weigh like around that 1.7 ton mark and geez, this thing gets up and moves. Wow. And just the fact that this thing is so damn clean, yeah. it's actually mind boggling because I've been in so many of these B series and you know, so many of them are just old, you know, they just really have been neglected. This one, oh, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's not. Oh, it just hooks. It's so instant the way this thing delivers its power, like, you know, you put your foot on the clutch, you let off for a second, you change it up, and then you hit that freaking gas pedal and it just starts instantly pulling very hard. Like, it's just totally different to my Typhoon, you know? I feel like when you're really at it, like the power might be a little bit similar, but just, this is so instant. And yeah, wow, you gotta be careful in this thing, man. And even just the handling, look, you know, these things aren't the best for the turns. Like, you can do it. And, you know, the lowering springs definitely help. You can feel, like, what those front wheels are doing through the wheel. It definitely feels good, you know. It does have a bit of weight to the wheel, which is nice in these cars. And, again, just, you know, the exhaust, rowing your own gears in this thing. The blower, man. Yeah, this is epic. Yeah, <laughs> what a rig. Now zero to 100 guys, the things are claimed at like 5.9. I don't know if we're gonna get there. The other supercharged one we did got about 5.9. Um, yeah, these are hectic, so we're just gonna see what we get. So here we go, just reset the draggy. And that's a hundred. <laughs> you know, yeah, you can see the traction control lights coming on and yeah, when you start modifying them like this, it's uh yeah, it really is just playing with your life basically <laughs> because they're just such a handful. But man, they're so fun. <laughs> I know. I know. I know, man. Now I'm going to finish the video off here today. So a huge, huge thank you to the owner for allowing me to take out his pride and joy because this thing, it's absolutely beautiful, you know, in this color, in this condition with freaking supercharger. Yeah, it's just hectic. So. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Consider subscribing if you're new here. We'll see you on that next video.